Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Prism English Premier League Soccer Cereal Box Edition. We'll see what 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 fun parallel. I guess I guess maybe some uh, some pulsars there. It is exclusive to these sets. It looks pretty cool. Just an 18 spot break. All cards ship. Those are the teams right there. Thanks to everybody right here for getting in on the action. And they're all the teams right here. Looks like we, yeah, a couple of combo teams, Crystal Palace and Leeds, Sheffield and West, West Brom are comboed up. All right, so let's roll it. Let's randomize each list, names and clubs, two and a three, five times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, we got a couple Jonathans down to a couple Leos. Two and a three, five times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, and good luck, fifth and final time. After five, we got Southampton down to my club, Liverpool. All right, so Jonathan with Southampton and Tottenham, Marco with Leicester City, Jason with Arsenal, Leo with Chelsea, Aaron with Sheffield and West Brom, Ryan with West Ham, uh, Leo with Crystal Palace and Leeds, Ryan with Man City and Newcastle, Jonathan with Fulham, John with Man United, Leo with Aston Villa, Jonathan with Wolves, with the Wolves, Leo with Everton, Roger with Burnley, Leo with Brighton and Hove Albion, and uh, Liverpool Football Club. So let's sort by club here alphabetically. And you can trade if you'd like. Trade at your own risk. While you're thinking about trades, let's pop open this case. So it's a 40 box case. So we're going to see which 10 we're going to do. Let's try to. I don't want it to hit the bell. All right. Oh. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're not even in rows of ten. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So they're we got rows of five right here. So how am I gonna do this? All right. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we got ten. 10, 20, 30, and 40, right? So there's four groups. 10, 20, 30, and 40. There's four groups. We're going to roll the die. 1, 2, 3, 4 represents the groups. If it's a 5 or a 6, I'll just roll again. And it's going to be group 3. So now let's mark the boxes that are going to be group 3. One, two, and three. So remember, this was this was group four right here. So the next group above, I've put X's on there. So let me actually take this back to the other table instead of dumping all of these out. All right, so there you go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Bam. All right, no trades. Let's flip back here. No, not, not even a whisper of a trade. Sorry, let's close the trade window 
and let's roll. TWC trade window, premature bell ring. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe the bell knows something about what's in here. It's, it has seen the future, perhaps. All right, so let's print this and rip it. Now, Hayden's here. Hayden's saying, you think Chelsea could pull off the upset over Man City in the Champions League? No. I don't. Back to the screen again. And there you go. The final printout. Thanks for getting in on the uh, soccer action here. I don't know. Chelsea's a pretty solid team, but I think Manchester City is on another level. And I think they are... They are extremely hungry for a Champions League victory, which is one of the big trophies that have, that have eluded them so i guess the exclusive are these blue red or pink pulsar prisms nice cereal box kind of like that all right and of course all cards ship it's probably worth looking up every one of these cards because you might be surprised at their value especially for these rookies. There's Ian Poveda. And there are your Pulsars right there. So we got Josh Onoma for Fulham. Blue Pulsar for Jonathan. You got Matthew Kovacic for Chelsea. An all English Champions League final. Leo with Chelsea. Chelsea versus uh, another Chelsea player right here, N'Golo Kante. There you go. Chelsea and Man City. Should be a good one. Oh, I see, because Hayden's a Chelsea supporter. No one thought we'd beat Real Madrid, but we did. No one thought we would beat City in the FA Cup, but we did. <laughs> that makes more sense now. All right. Let's move these over here. A Pulisic insert in the back right here is pretty nice. It's Trent Alexander Arnold, nice. For Liverpool, that'll be for Leo. We got a silver, William. Nice, Arsenal. Jason with that one. Sander Burge for Sheffield. Will Smallbone for Southampton. And we got Kevin De Bruyne for Man City. Ryan Redmond. Next box. I, don't know, I feel like Manchester City has a lot of firepower. Chelsea has improved a lot under under Thomas Tuchel. I don't know. I mean, Man City wants Champions League so bad. 
Like there's gonna be a lot of lot of focus on that man, more so than an FA Cup. We got Josh Anoma against rookie silver for Fulham, John. We got these pulsars look really sharp. We got Andre Franck, uh, Zambo, Anguisa. I'd like to see what his autograph looks like. That's for Fulham. That'll be for Jonathan. We got Nico Williams, the Liverpool youngster, going to Leo. Got Tyrone Mings for Aston Villa, Leo. And there's John Lundstrom, Fireworks. All right, next one. Logan predicting that Tottenham Hotspur will get a hit. We actually, Hayden, we actually pulled a McClanahan auto. I thought of you. We pulled a McClanahan auto in the... Uh, in the last tier one break that I did. How long will Otani pitch? I don't know. I mean, I think they'll, they'll, they'll let him get to around 90 pitches, I want to say. But he hasn't been super efficient. Sometimes he walks a lot of guys, so that gets him into a little trouble. And then, he, then, he, then he's out like in the fourth inning or something like that, fourth or fifth inning. I think they'd like him to, just to keep his bat in the lineup, they'd like to keep him in the, keep him pitching as long as possible. They'd like to see him go into later innings. There's Adam Lalana Silver. A little bit of a ding right there in the corner, which is unfortunate. I think coming out of the pack. Probably was rattling around in there during shipment. But that goes to Brighton. That'll be for Leo, former Liverpool man there. There's Stuart Dallas for Leeds. It's going to be for Leo. Nice, Deli Ali. Logan was right. Nice Tottenham Hotspur right there. That'll be for Jonathan. And there's Fabio Silva for Wolves. It'll also be for Jonathan. I like this atmosphere. It's been a long time since they were cheering like that. What a rough, weird season for Liverpool. But they'll be, they'll be back. All right. That'll be for Leo with Liverpool. Mohamed Salah. There's been some chit chat whether he would uh, he will stay in Liverpool or not, or whether Liverpool will kind of freshen up their 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 striking partnership up front. Bettinia for Wolves, Jonathan. James Justin for Leicester. That'll be for Marco. Nice Declan Rice for uh, West Ham United. Ryan and Raheem Sterling. Will Raheem Sterling be go elsewhere? I don't know. We'll see. He's had a weird season too, after having a pretty great season. Actually, I need a container to put all this away. Ah, oh, tier one sentimental for uh, for Rex. Was that your first break with Jaspies? Wow. Who are the top rookies for the EPL? That I'm not too sure. I 
I guess when I see a rookie card with a with a with a good name on it, I'll I'll I'll, hi I'll highlight that. But a lot of these non-rookie cards could still go for a lot. I think people like Billy Gilmore. Could be a future star. There's a Mohammed Todd. There's a little bit of a bend to these cards as well. You can kind of see. Just FYI. I'm sure once the, all these sleeved cards will be top loaded anyway, once that happens, we'll, we'll, um, we'll straighten out, of course. There's Jake Livermore. There's a Den Dennis Adoy for Fulham. I mean, it takes these rookies a while to really develop, so it's kind of hard to say now. Like Curtis Jones has shown some moments. There's Leo right here. There's Courtney House for Aston Villa. And James Vardy. I think Marcus Rashford has been around a little bit. I don't know if I'd consider him a rookie. Mason Greenwood, yeah. Can you imagine uh, if online breaking happened in the mid to late nineties? I would, I would guess that that I would be in the poorhouse. I don't think it would work. <laughs> Not like cards in the nineties were 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 blowing the doors off the barn. There's Ezri Konsa for Aston Villa. Right, it would take forever. For any video to upload or for any live streaming to happen. There's Emil Croft for Newcastle. That'll be for Ryan. Jamal Lewis for Newcastle. Again, for Ryan. And Scorers Club, Richarlison, who's actually pretty good. For Everton. Yeah, I don't even know if we'd be able to live stream with the on a 256 kilobyte per second connection. See, Bukayo Saka doesn't have the rookie designation, but he's all he's a young up and coming prospect for Arsenal. It's for Jason. So his cards do really well. Bruno Fernandez is a rookie in the Premier League, but not as like a player. I think it's kinda of hard to say where where like the, a true rookie lies. That's for Man United, that'll be for John. Fabio Silva, we got Leandro Trossard. For Brighton and Hove Albion, Leo. We got Jamie Vardy. For Leicester, that'll be for Marco. And Harvey Barnes, Leicester City. Back in college, Big Rig remembers. You could cook supper and boot up the internet at the same time and both be done at the same time. The dial-up struggle. Hey, the kids these days, the first USB stick I bought in the early 2000s only had uh, 256 megabytes. No, Nick would have been like, 
I don't know, 20 by then? Max. Now you can buy... Now you can go to a trade, a convention, Nick Lacoste. You can go to like a convention and someone will give you, you know, a pen with their business name on it. And that could hold like 20 gigs of information. Just giving it away. <laughs> It's Curtis Jones. And there's Blue Pulsar Ben Me for Burnley. That'll be for Roger. Dean Henderson, Man United. That'll be for John. Nice Alexander Lacazette for Arsenal. Jason. And the final box. Sadio Mane, Matthew Ryan Silver, we got Blue Pulsar Wilfred and Didi for Lester, we for Marco, we got Thomas Susek for West Ham United, who's got the hammers, that's going to be Ryan Redmond, got hammers there, Vitinha for Wolverhampton, Jonathan L., and we got Billy Sharp at the end. And there you have it, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was uh, 10 boxes of 2020-2021 Panini Prism English Premier League Soccer Serial Box Edition. So some fun stuff. The Pulsars are what's exclusive there. It's essentially a blaster box, but like a serial box. It's nice. So check it out for the uh, check out jazbeescasebreaks.com for the next one. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.